Hi, my name is Scott Weidenkiewicz. As you may or may not know, I wrote an ebook called Time is on Your Side Exploring Long Exposure Photography. I've surrounded myself by everything there is about long exposure photography for the entire, you know, six months or whatever it took me to write that, uh, that ebook. And I still do long exposure photography to this day, but I spent a lot of time looking at different equipment all the different filters out there and getting all of my um, my personal feedback, my instructions, my advice all into that ebook. And a lot of things have changed since I wrote that. And I've since published uh, a third version of a third edition, really, of this ebook because I'm actually switching from the Lee filter system to the format high tech system using their Firecrest line of neutral density filters. But that's not what this video is about. This video is actually about this fun little bag right here called the Filter Hive. And the reason why I told you about the filters to begin with is because I decided that when I'm switching from the one neutral density kit to uh, my other neutral density kit, I decided to also switch the bags. Here's what I was using before. This is your typical low pro filter bag. It's it's fantastic. Uh, it's you know can go on the belt, but it's quite small. Can only hold so many, and I it doesn't allow me to hold my filter rings. It doesn't allow me to hold uh, the filter rings with the actual filter you know uh, ad adapter at the same time. So I wanted something a little bit bigger, but still compact, and something that was very versatile, that went beyond just the filter holder. So I got the Mindshift Gear Filter Hive. Now here's the cool part about this. First of all, let's start with it closed. You can see it's quite compact. It's actually very light. It's The Mindshift has this really lightweight sort of, I think it's like a nylon type of thing, material. It does go on a belt system, so you can attach it to a belt. You can attach it to a regular belt or you can attach it to one of their backpacks using the, the belt system that they have built in. But then there's also this part right here, which allows it to attach to the accessory uh, rings attached to the Mindshift bags, the Mindshift gear bags. So that way uh, you can let it dangle if you want, whatever. You can also just clip this onto uh, any belt really, if you want to. It's very versatile about how it attaches and it's very easy to get it around and, and move around. But everything that about this goes way beyond that as well. So that's the first thing, is the way it attaches. Second thing is you can see here that there's actually two zipper pulls, both of which are the style that if you're wearing gloves, if you're out hiking in the cold or whatever, you can actually still get a finger in here and still open up the bag easily. And that's the, for the top pocket, as well as this little pocket up, here, up front. Now this is another thing that I wanted to mention. You have this little pocket up front which if you only have a few of these, if you only have like two, it'll fit nicely in there and you can zip it closed and now it's out of the way. Now I have a bunch because I actually photograph with prime lenses mostly. So I have a whole bunch of these and they won't all fit in here. But if I'm traveling, I would only take the ones that I need. So I might be go from four down to two or four down to five, uh, three or whatever. I might be able to get them all in there. Otherwise, it's also very good to just throw in some memory cards. Now, typically, when you're out making photos, this is going to be on the outside of your bag if you're doing stuff with your uh, with your filter. So, throwing uh, memory cards in here is not such a bad thing because now your memory cards are accessible. But let's dig into the actual inside. Now, here's where it gets really, really interesting. If I open it up, you'll see right away it's still sort of covered. And that's because I can walk around with this covered and know that my filters are not falling out. And the reason why is because there's actually another Velcro system, a little cover that just lets you quickly get to things, close it back up and you're done, okay? But inside you can see there's a color coded system. So if you um, want to color code your filters, you can do that. And uh, I have one filter in here right now, as you can see. And it's all nicely padded and organized, very sleek very slim 
And then th there's some smaller ones down here if you want if you do want to do round filters. So you can see here there's some little dividers for round filters. And then in the front there's another little pocket. Let's see if I can pull this out. There's another little pocket right here. So you can actually store something small in there if you wanted to. Now, uh, what's really cool is I can get in the entire ring here. And that can actually go behind everything. So it goes right behind here, closer to the body. And again, these could go on the outside, on this little uh, little zipper over here. And go right in up front. And then you put all of your filters in the little dividers like so. So it's very simple. I mean, it's just a filter holder, right? But it's more than just a filter holder because it actually is designed to hold a lot of filters elegantly and allow you to get to them without fussing and having to work around things and remove things to get to it. It just slides around and it's easy to get to. You can leave this open and just quickly cover if you need to, to, um, to, you know, to get to the filters without re-zipping and unzipping and all that kind of stuff. So um, that's the, uh, the filter hive in a nutshell. It's beautiful. There's a smaller version of this as well, but uh, I opted for the bigger version because I wanted to make sure I can get all of this stuff, you know, into it at once. Um, Cause I'm gonna have uh, a few neutral density filters. I'm going to have a, uh, a big 105 millimeter CPL filter. So I wanna make sure everything fits in the one place, nice and snug. And whereas when I had this one as my main, I can only fit so much, the rest of it had to, like I had all the other rings, I had to actually bungee these and keep them separate in my backpack. Now I can keep it all in one spot. So that's the Mind Shift Gear Filter Hive. If you have a bunch of neutral density filters and you want to uh, get a filter case that holds a lot, or you know whether they're circular or, or the rectangular flat filters, um, you know, the Filter Hive is fantastic for that, so check that out from Mind Shift Gear called the Filter Hive.